Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with quadratics. So what we gotta do is we have to show the roots of x equals one plus one over x are negative reciprocals of one another. So this is a pretty cool question. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to solve this equation here. And so our final values are gonna be x equals, there's gonna be two solutions, right? Those are the roots. That's another word for finding the solution or the x values that make the left side equal to the right side. And then what we're going to notice is that the roots are negative reciprocals of one another. And so just to do a quick review what negative reciprocals are. So for example, if I got like 3 over 4, what we do is we flip this and then switch the sign. So it would end up being negative 4 over 3. So both of these are negative reciprocals of one another. Or if we have like negative four over five, well, we flip it, change the sign, it would be positive five over four. Or if we have like three, the three, you could pretend it's like over one, the negative reciprocal of that would be negative one over three, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you can also do negative reciprocals with decimals. So for example, if we have like, positive 0 0.5, well, the negative reciprocal of 0 0.5 is going to be negative 1 over 0 0.5 because this 0 0.5 is like, you could pretend it's like over 1. And so then this negative 1 over 0.5, if you do that in your calculator, you'd end up with negative 2. Or for example, the negative reciprocal of, let's say, um, negative 0.2, for example. Well, this point negative 0.2, it's like over 1, so it would be positive 1 over 0 0.2, which if you do that in your calculator, you'd end up with 5. Okay, so the negative reciprocal of negative 0.2 is 5. And you could see it as well, like if you take 5, 5 is over 1, negative reciprocal of that would be negative 1 over 5, which is in decimals negative 0.2 right? Because the reason why I want to introduce decimals is because the roots we're going to end up having are going to be decimals. And so that's how you get the negative reciprocals of decimals right there. You could just take that decimal, put it over one, and then you'll have negative one over that decimal for the negative reciprocal. We're also going to work with the exact values. We're going to get exact value solutions, and I'm going to show you how to show that exact value or radical expressions, ones with square roots in them, are gonna be negative reciprocals of one another. It's gonna be a little bit more complex and your teacher may not require you to know at this stage how to work with radical expressions, but just in case they do, I'll show you that as well. Now, how can we solve this over here? Well, a couple of different ways. First thing I would recommend is getting rid of this fraction over here, and more specifically getting rid of the denominator. And so notice that this x is over one, this one is over one. We can multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which between one, one, and x is just x. So then you'd end up with x times x, which is x squared, x times one, which is x. And then notice these x's cancel out and you're just left with a one there. Another way to do this is you could take this side here and you could combine it into one fraction so this one we could write as x over x right in order to get a common denominator here so we'll have x equals x plus one over x and then you can just cross multiply x times x is x squared one times x plus one gives us x plus one right which is exactly what we have here so multiple ways to get rid of the fractions whichever way you do it this is what you would end up with. And so now notice this is just a quadratic equation. We could bring everything over to one side and we have this quadratic equation. Now in this particular case, can't solve this with factoring. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the a value one, the b value of negative one, the c value of negative one. We're gonna put it in the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula, we know it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac. That's gonna be all over two a. And so we'd have negative negative one plus or minus b squared, which is negative one squared minus four times one times negative one. And that's gonna be all over two times that a value of one. So this would be 
positive one like that, plus or minus. Now, what are we gonna end up with here? Negative one squared is one, negative four times negative one is positive four. This can be over two. And so we'd end up with one plus or minus root five over two. Those are the two roots right there as exact values. So let me write those solutions here. So we have either x equals one plus root five over two, and the other solution is gonna be one minus root five over two, like that. And then if you get the corresponding decimals, you would get these two decimals right here. Now, what are we showing? That these are negative reciprocals of one another. So what we can do is we could take this root, which is like over one, well, the negative reciprocal of this, we would flip it and then put a negative in front, which would be negative one over 1.618034. And when you do this in your calculator, negative one divided by this value, you would actually end up with this value right there. And so that's one way to show that both of these are negative reciprocals of one another if you're dealing with the decimals. Again, I'm going to show you in a sec how to do it with these exact values, which is going to be much more of a complex process. But in case your teacher just allows you to show it with decimals, this is how you could do it. Now, you could also take this over here, this value, this root. Okay, this is like over one. Well, when we flip it and change the sign, we'd end up with one over. 0.618034, and when you do this in your calculator, you'd end up with 1.618034. So whichever way you go about it, whether you go from this to this or from this to this, both of them are negative reciprocals of one another. Okay, so that's how to do it with the decimals. Now, how can we do it with these exact values. That's gonna be a little bit more tricky. So the way we can do it is we can take this fraction, flip it, and put a negative on it, or we could take this fraction, flip it, put a negative on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this fraction so it would be two over one plus root five, and then we have to put a negative right there, right? Because we have to show it's a negative reciprocal. Okay, the question is, okay, this is actually the same thing as this, okay? If you took this in your calculator, got the decimals, it would be the same thing as if you put this in your calculator and got the decimals. Both of these are the same. The question is, how do we show that this is the same as that? Well, first thing we gotta do is we need to put these, this square root up top, because notice that the square root, the radical expression is in the numerator here, here it's in the denominator. And we do that with something called rationalizing. So what we would do is we would multiply this by the conjugate, which would be one minus root five. So we just um, change the sign in the middle over here and then we have to multiply the top by that same expression. So it's like we're taking this expression and multiplying it by one. Notice that same numerator over same denominator is like multiplying it by one. So we're actually keeping it the same. We're just adding more to it. And I have other videos where we talk about how to rationalize expressions, whether rationalize denominators like we're doing now or numerators, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to watch those videos as well, you can find them on my website. You could also contact me and I could tell you where you could find those videos exactly. Okay, again, your teacher may or may not be going through this. Um, if they are, then you'll be familiar with this process. If they're not, then you can just skip this process. You could just work with the decimals that we were given before, how we showed that the decimals were negative reciprocals of one another. Okay, but if you're working with the... Um, with the actual exact values, this is how you do it. So when we combine this, negative two times one minus root five, that's gonna be up top. Now notice this here, these are a difference of squares of one another. And so what we could do is we could just multiply the ends together. One times one is one, and then 
plus root 5 times negative root 5 would just give us minus 5, like that. More specifically, because if we take 1 plus root 5, and then we take 1 minus root 5, and then if we were to expand it, if we were to FOIL it out, you'd end up with 1 minus root 5 plus root 5, and then root 5 times negative root 5 would give us positive 5. And so notice that those middle terms cancel out. That's why we're multiplying this by the same expression, just changing that sign in the middle, right? This is called the conjugate of this. But we can't just multiply a denominator by something, can't add this random thing in. We also have to multiply the numerator by the same thing. So it's like we're multiplying it by one to keep it the same. So from here, notice what happens. Well, we end up with negative two, one minus root five over negative four, like that. And then negative two goes into negative four twice, right? The negatives cancel out to make a positive. Two over four is one over two. Notice we end up with one minus root five over two, which is what we were aiming for. Okay, so to show these are negative reciprocals of one another, I took this, flipped it, changed the sign, and then we got to show that this expression is the same as this one. We do that with rationalizing, and we end up showing that the negative reciprocal of this is indeed that other root. And that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this, please go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all of the videos are organized by chapter, by section. If you feel like you need tutoring at any point, you could also hit me up. My contact details are on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.